This After Effects tutorial is sponsored by ajuice.com. Hey guys, what's up? I am Nikhil from dopemotions.com and welcome back to a brand new After Effects tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to create Instagram reel animation inside of After Effects. So for today's animation, we will be going with a motivational theme and I will be creating a motivational reel, but you can use your own style, you can use your own theme and create a very interesting looking reel. You can use your own audio or you can also choose from Instagram itself depends completely on your choice you can also use this animation as an instagram story if you want to so without any further ado let's jump into after effects and get started all right so here we are in after effects now in order to start doing our animation we need to customize our workspace so that we can work more comfortably and efficiently so in order to do that i'm gonna just drag and drop my composition layer right over here as we are working for instagram reels so the dimension is gonna be 1080 by 1920 so this would fit in perfectly and i can move my effects and preset panel right over here that looks good and yeah this should work proper let's create a new composition gonna unlink this let's change the width to 1080 and height to 19 20 30 fps and 15 seconds long as the duration of instagram reels is 15 seconds let's call this comp reel and hit ok so there we have our composition let's create one more composition which is going to be our image placeholder you can also use videos if you want to i'm going to call this placeholder hit ok and drag and drop in the image that i want to use so i just downloaded this free image from unsplash one of my favorite website to download images all right Let's go back into our real comp. Let's drag and drop in the placeholder. Now I'm going to use few effects to turn this image into a black and white image. So the first effect that I will be using is obviously tint. So I'll just double click to apply that up. And then after I can add levels. Let's increase the contrast a bit just like that and finally i'll add some sharpen so 15 looks good i'll change the preview mode to full so we can see the final output that is looking good now let's create our brush stroke animation which is super simple and easy to create all we have to do is select the pen tool set the brush stroke size way up like something like 300 should be a good starting point and turn off the fill and then i can just simply start creating the shape now you don't need to be very precise while doing it so there we go there we have it now i want to fix this corner so that it doesn't look like that so i'm going to just move them just like so make sure i cover up the image so it looks the way i want it to look so something like that looks good now let's call this layer line or stroke whatever that you want to call it go into the drop down and let's add a trim path so we can animate this let's zoom in a bit in the timeline let's close the parent and link option so i'll go to around one second and 10 frames create a keyframe on the end property go back and set this to zero so pretty simple let's select it and hit f9 ease it so we have a very nice and simple animation, right? Pretty nice. 
then to create that kind of a brush stroke effect i will be using an inbuilt effect called rough and edges and double click to apply that up so first things let's increase the border really high something like 100 or 110 to make it very smudgy and then we can play around with the edge sharpness so i'll increase that to around 10 so we have very harsh and sharp edges and then we can bring down the scale so i'll let's start from 10 that is way too much low so something like around 20 that looks good let's go into the stretch width and height so i'll bring that down and let's stretch the height just like all the way up you can also increase the complexity if you want to so i like to keep it around 10 and as you can see it's looking pretty cool you can also play around with the evolution in case if you want to do that and boom there we have our brush ready to roll now let's select this layer hit ctrl shift c to precompose it i'll call this brush and hit ok then hit f4 so we can see the track mat option and change the track mat of the placeholder to alpha mat so now there we have our image reveal now as you can see it's not looking the way i want so i can anytime jump into this that is the brush layer select the line go into the contents shape and select the path and tweak the path according to my requirement so i can just move it maybe a bit up and i can check that if it looks perfect and i think that is looking nice now before we proceed further with this tutorial let me tell you about today's sponsor ae juice they have an amazing i want it all bundle which contains over 5000 animated elements like transitions presets titles for your project it comes with a handy pack manager plugin and this is one of those investment that will last you for a lifetime plus they also have a starter pack which has over 100 animations that you can try it out for free for more information check out the link in the description below now let's add in our text so i'll select the text tool for the font i will be going with heading pro which is a free font i have mentioned the link in the description below and let's type in our quote then i'll bring down the size a bit and change the paragraph to left alignment let's adjust this a bit okay and let's change this to around let's go with 235 okay perfect so let's animate our text now let's go to one second go into the drop down menu and in the animate section i'm gonna add a position and an opacity so for the position i'll bring that down to around let's go with something like 75 and bring down the opacity all the way down to zero go into the range selector let's make some room right here so you guys can see more properly and then i'll go into the advanced settings of this and i'm going to animate the offset so let's set the offset all the way up to 100 create a keyframe go back to zero and set this to minus 100 then change the shape from square to ramp up and increase the ease high and ease low all the way up to 100 then i can change the based on characters to words and now we have this really nice text animation maybe i'll increase the duration of the text animation a bit so i'll go to one second and 10 frames and pull this keyframe up then i'll go to one second and 15 frames and i'm going to animate the position of this so i'll select layer and hit p create a keyframe on the position hit u so we can see the keyframes i'll go to around two seconds and position this right over here just like so now i'm going to select the keyframes hit f9 go into the graph editor and let's move the time indicator at the very center and let's try to create kind of peak using the keyframes or the handles that we have let's see a bit more yeah that is what i am going for 
Now I want my image to start revealing after the text starts moving. So I'll move to around 20 frames. Let's move these two layers back and maybe a bit more. So I guess 25. Yeah, something like that. It looks pretty good. I can also add a simple scale animation for our placeholder. So hit S and let's go right here. Create a keyframe on the scale. Go at all the way up to 15 seconds and let's add a little bit of scale of around 1110. So, you know, we have a little bit of scale animation going on. Yep. So that is looking good. Maybe I can increase the levels a bit more, I think. So something like, something like that. All right. That is looking good. Let's select the brush layer, hit control D again, put this at the bottom, turn that on. And then I can just move this a few frames forward in time. So we have this kind of an overlap brush stroke, as you can see. And for the color, I can go ahead and add a fill on this. So let's add a fill and change this to a darker kind of a grayish or dark gray color. So we have this nice animation. I think I want the text to, uh, I want the image to start getting reveal around one second at one second. So I'll move this. Yep, that is looking perfect. Let's add our third text. So I can select the text tool. Let's type in motivation. Increase the size. Hit R to bring down the rotation and let's rotate this by 90 degrees. Let's increase the size really high and place it into the position that I want. So I'll place it something like that. Put this at the bottom and let's make it a darker kind of a grayish dark gray color. And now to add a faded look, I can select the rectangle tool and basically create a mask. So I'm going to create a mask like that and then hit V select these points and let's drag them up and hit F to bring up the mask feather and feather this up. So you see, we get this really nice faded look and you can anytime adjust the mask depending on the look you want. So again, keep it something like that it is looking pretty nice. So I'll go to around two seconds, select the text, hit P, create a keyframe on the position, go to one second, and pull the text out just like so. Then I can select this, hit F9, go into the graph editor and let's move this to the left. So we have a nice animation as you can see. Maybe change the duration a bit. Yep, that is looking much better. I can hit Control Shift H to hide the control layers and just see the animation. So I think that is looking pretty nice. Now let's go ahead and add some nice crunch texture onto the video. So I saw this tutorial created by Ben Marriott on um, how to create this kind of cool texture. So if I just pull this right here, oh, it's a really nice texture that he has created. I have mentioned the link in the description so you can go ahead and download and also learn how to create this kind of texture. It's pretty simple and easy. So I'm going to be using this video uh, from the texture he has provided. And by the way, you can download the complete project file of this tutorial. Free link is always in the description of every tutorial. So let's put this on the top. And what I'm going to do is create a few copies of this. So hit control D align this just like that. Hit control D and just create an alignment. So basically you can keep doing this for around 15 seconds because that is the length of the reel. Now what I like to do is select all the layers Hit control shift C to pre-compose it. Make sure you turn on adjust duration, composition duration to the time span of the selected layers. Call this text for texture, hit OK and then hit control D and then duplicate this comp. So let's keep it for now 10 seconds and then I can change the blending mode of these comps to screen then hit t and bring down the opacity to around 50. so now 
we should have this really nice texture animation onto our video which looks pretty cool now let's go ahead and add that nice rgb effect that you saw in the preview so it's pretty simple to use or pretty simple to add actually so let's select all everything hit ctrl shift c let's call this animation you can call it whatever that you want and let's hit ok go into effects and preset and add shift channels double click to apply that up let's set the take green from and take blue from to full off just make sure the red is on and then change the blending mode of this to screen let's duplicate this hit ctrl d select the second one set the red one to off and just turn on the green one then i'll hit ctrl d again select the third one set the green one to off and turn on the blue one and then what i can do is just move the top two layers of frame forward and now you have this really nice rgb effect which is pretty simple and looks pretty cool so there you go there you have your cool animation for your reel so you can create this kind of motivation you know small motivation animations and you can add it on your instagram reels and you know share it with the world so that is a wrap for today guys i hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how to create instagram real animations in after effects without using any plugins so if you did make sure you subscribe to the channel comment down below if you enjoyed it and also follow me on instagram because i keep posting this kind of reels on instagram and if you enjoy it you know you can just comment down below the reel if you want me to create tutorials on that particular animation so yeah i'll see you guys in the next video till then take care and always stay raw stay creative peace out